Hello, it's Peter Elgar from Brentwood, Essex, England again here. This time I'm going to talk about Tamron and their innovative ways in which you can fit their lenses to so many different mounts. Now look at this collection. It's um, five different mounts and it's very expensive to set up getting five different lenses that fit. But Tamron came up with a thing called the Adaptor Mount. So here's a Tamron lens, a Tamron Superior Performance Zoom. No, this is the, not the Zoom one. This it is, it's the 70 to 210. <laughs> I've, got, I've got so many, I'm gonna be careful I don't get them mixed up. But on the back, you have what is known as an adaptor mount and it says here this is for Pentax um, screw thread mount because there's the screw thread and there's a little there's the little pin which bangs on the aperture to set it off so here is a Pentax screw thread mount we put the lens on carefully. If you drop it, it's going to start getting expensive. There we are. Now, saying you've got this tam lovely Tamron lens, but you're given another make of camera. So what do you do? You, you or you've updated from a screw thread to the Pentax K fit. Well, you can change the adaptor mount on the back of the camera and you can use it on a Pentax K fit. So here is Pentax K fit, another Tamron lens. This is a fixed focal length. Yeah, this is the 300 millimeter 5.6 it's very sharp I've tested it all but this is the adapter which you take off and you could fit it onto that one so you have to press this and twist the adapter press one of these release pins it's not very easy doing it and then it will it should come off and that's <laughs> Would you believe it? It's not very easy doing this on the video. It should come off. Um, well, it's twisted, but it won't come off. No, nope. I think we'll have to. Oh, there we are. There's the adaptor mount. I was getting worried there for the minute. That is a Pentax K fitted mount. So if we can fit the adaptor mount onto this one, we've got to get this off. Because there's adaptor one and there's adaptor two. And that is the confusing thing. Tamron brought out two mounts. And the difference is not very plain. Now you've got to look for the dot here. And there's a dot on there, and you have to line up the dot and turn it. It should click into place. And these little slots here have to go into these little black bits. And there's several dots. We've got to find the right dot. Oh, here's the red dot there. I think that's the one. You line that up there and you click that into place there now you can fit your screw thread onto your Pentax K mount here's a Pentax K mount that should go on there there we are that's that Tamron lens fitted onto a Pentax K mount 
With, with the others, I've got a Contax fitting one. Lovely Tamron lens here, which is the 135. I can get the lens cap off. Beautiful sharp lens. And it's a 2.5 aperture. Tamron 2.5, 135mm. And this has the Contax Yashica mount. It's written on the it's written on it. Now when I fit it to the Contax RTS, we've got to look for the dot again. Because the dots, they're all in the different place <laughs> on these cameras. You've got to look for, I mean your eyes are your eyes are not so good. Here yeah, I've got to look for a dot there. There. That is now on that lovely 135 very sharp lens is on the Contax 2, RTS 2. Now I've, there's no battery in this so I've, I've got to use it on a mechanical speed. But the problem I've found with this one is the adapter mount, it doesn't stop down. It's always at full aperture. Now that is a fault with the adaptor mount. See you can't see it stopping down at all. No, nope. it works on the Yashica but it don't work on the contacts for some reason. It don't stop down. Now when the adaptor came out it's supposed to work with everything but this one didn't. So this one is it a one or is it a two? It doesn't say. Oh, it's a Daptool two. Take my glasses off. Then we can see something. Here it says a Daptool number two for Contax Yashica. But that Daptool number two doesn't stop down the lens on the Contax. It only works with the Yashica, which is the same mount. So that. That's a bit of a bind. Now I was given a lovely can fit lens. And we've got to find that one. For Canon FD. Here we are. With a breech lock fitting. Just recently by a camera club member. Here it is, the adaptor mount. It's got like a little this one's different. Again, it's got a little wheel thing on the mount. It says for Canon FD Tamron, made US, is it patented in USA, made in Japan. Yeah, I'll put it on a Canon FD fit. Red dot to, dot to dot again, like that. And then you've got to turn you want a bayonet mount ring here because it's a breech lock. Now that works and it stops down the lens perfectly. So we see if we can show you how it stops down the lens. We'll stick it on a slow shutter speed. There we are. We'll stick it on four second shutter speed. See if we can show you it stops down the lens now you can't see inside it's too much glass to see <laughs> but my word for it, it does work but this is a, a Tamron adapter for, for Canon so we'll take that off we've got to remember how to, they're all different fittings the Canon one comes off from the you press it at the side here, don't you? Can't find the release button for the cannon now. Oh, it's because it's a it's a breech lock. That's right. There we are. Now let's see if we can take this one off and fit it to the Olympus. So let's see how we can get this breech point this one off. Turn that, here we are, there's the a 
adapter on mount off for Canon FD and we see if we can fit the Olympus one. Now this is an Olympus fit adapter mount. Here's an Olympus OM10. Red dot to red dot. Well that goes on easily. There, there we are. So that must have the Olympus fit. Squeeze the lens. So the adapter mount for Olympus is this one. Now it doesn't say Olympus on it anywhere and it doesn't say whether it's a Mark 1 or a Mark 2. I'm turning it round, I can't see. But we'll, we'll su surprise it will work on a Canon if we can get it, get it off again. So we'll press this and twist. Hopefully it comes off. There we are. There's the adapter mount for Olympus. And I'll see if we can put it onto the one for a Canon. So we line up. There's a dot there and there's a dot here and there's a green dot there and there's a red dot. I think we'll line up the green dot and then see if we can push like that. Yes, and it's clipped in. Now that is the that is the lens which fitted the Canon is now hopefully going to fit the Olympus because I put the Olympus mount on. Yes, it does. There we are, and it all works. So you have to be a bit careful when you get the adaptor system because it has been found that they're not infallible and sometimes they don't stop down the lens as I've shown you on the contacts but all these other ones work and they're, they're lovely lenses they're all sharp and each one is different and they were, they were all given to me by different members of the camera club and different people so I'm extremely grateful for all this gear and having all these adaptor mounts makes it easy for me to fit all onto my cameras. So, hope you've enjoyed this bit of a ramble about the Tamron adaptor system and go and see if you can get some yourself and have a play. Alright, see you on the next time. Bye bye for now folks.